Hey YouTube, Peter Carbon here with another video, and today I will be continuing along uh, with the series on how to make a single chip Arduino. Today, what I will be showing you how to make is power circuit that you can, along with the socket, which will allow you to plug the chip into, and it will also have female header pins along the side, so you can plug in things just like the Arduino Uno. So let's get started. Okay, so first, what you will need is a 19 by 11 strip board. Next, you will need the following sizes of male header, header pins, and that is a 1, 2, and a 3. Next, you will need a 100 UF capacitor. You also need an 18 pin socket, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, three female header pins of the following lengths 2, 14, and 19, two 10 nanofarad capacitors marked with a 104 a 5 volt voltage regulator, an LED with your choice of color, a 220 ohm resistor, and of course, the chip from the last video. So first I'd like to talk about the, uh, the uh, board. What you need is, like I said, to mark out 19, which is the length of this board, and then, or the height of this board, and then 11, which is how wide this circuit has to be. And that's how much room you need to fit everything on. Everything else can be cut off when we're done. So to start, we're going to put the 19 in the first part, which is right there. Then in the next part, we're going, or then in the other part where I mark on the 11, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's how I will refer to it as. And then going this way, I'll refer to it as 1 through 19. Just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Next. And put the 14 right there. And I will solder, solder that into place. Okay, so I've soldered that onto place, and now we're going to add the socket, which is going to go. If I can get in there, right there. So there'll be one space right between this one, or the 14 female header pin, and then there'll be some room over here, so four. Alright, so I've added the socket, and next I'm going to add the male header pins to our circuit. So the three will go right here, that will be the right the reset pin, because if we look at our chip, you have the button up here, which is the reset pin right there, so if you look at a picture on the internet of all the pins for the Amiga 328 chip, we'll see that that's the reset pin. If you put everything together, the reset pin will be right there, and then we'll go down. So you have your three male header pins that go right there. Okay, so th three down from that, I'm going to solder the two male header pins onto that. Okay, so uh, I put the two male header pins in, and then I've added another one right behind the ground pin. Now, because the FTDI cable has uh, six connections, two will have to go for ground. So. That's why I saw another pin in there. Next, I'm going to add the 5 volt regulator, and then we will build the circuit up there. Okay, so add the voltage regulator, and if you can see, I don't know if you can, it's right there. It's directly above the right side socket, or the right side of the dip socket. And it is one below this top row of through holes. And this is where our power will go. This will what this will turn the nine volts into five volts so that we can power our Arduino. Alright? Next we're going to add a couple of the ten nanofarad capacitors. One to each section of the from or one for each side of the voltage regulator. So I added the two 10 nanofarad capacitors to each side of the capacitor, one connecting to ground, one connecting to each pin. And now I'm going to add the two female header pin right to the first pin of the uh, voltage regulator, and then it will be in line with uh, the 14. Alright, so we have the two female header pins. And now we're almost done, guys, so... Next, I think I will add the 100 UF capacitor. And that will go... Right there. 
so. Oh, but it's also polarized, so you gotta make sure that the white strip goes to ground. Okay, so I added the capacitor bank, and now I'm going to add the 100 nanofarad capacitor connecting right where the uh, reset pin is. And that's going to be soldered in, but you do not want to solder them together because we're going to take a razor blade and we're going to cut right down the middle. So you got to be very careful with that. Okay, so I put that 100 nanofarad capacitor in, and now we have to figure out how we're going to get the LED to work. Okay, so first we're going to attach the resistor to the ground rail, which is, what, which is marked with the center pin of the voltage regulator. And then you have the spare pin, or the spare rail up here. The spare rail up here, which the other end of the resistor will attach to. Then we're going to take the positive end of our LED and stick it into the positive pin down here, or the uh, VCC for power. That's all. That's it for the components. Now we have to take a razor blade, and we have to make some cuts. One right there. One right there. Oh, we're not done soldering. No. That's a grand ground rail. What I want to do is I want to take these extra pins right here and make them all ground, so you have something con to connect to when you're running pro when you're uh, prototyping. So. I think to start out, I'm going to take the razor blade and start it at the top and bring it right down the middle. Right here in between the 100 nanofarad capacitor. But like I said, everything that's not a ground pinned up here. Okay, so next what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take a wire and we're going to solder the uh, ground rail to the other ground rail and then the VCC to the other VCC. So as you can see here, I added the VCC to the other to the other VCC and then the other gr the ground to the other ground. And I think that's it, pretty much. So you made all your cuts, soldered the ground pins up here all together, added your wires, made all made sure that all your connections are good using your multimeter and you are done and there we go the completed Arduino and in the next video I will be showing you guys how to program it thanks for watching please subscribe check me out on all my social media and leave a comment down below or a question and I will see you guys next week thanks for watching